What's going on guys? It's your boy Triple G coming back with another War in Order video today guys. We want to discuss a little bit about the stars. So the altar has two main important things and they're kind of keyed together, which is your artifact and your star palace. And the way that you can get these is pretty much through your conjuring and buying packs, okay? So when you conjure you get these items right here, and they're going to give you these stones. And also, if you conjure this one, they're going to give you the gold ones. You go into the shop, and every day, you're able to purchase. So if I'm trying to grind away at these, and I get these fragments, you know, I can grind away at them until I can upgrade these items. So the conjure shop, very important. Most of the time, that's going to deal with your artifact. However, your artifact is also linked to your star palace, which is why you have all of these constellations. And inside of these, when you upgrade them, you will be able to go to your artifact. And when you select the artifact, if it's upgraded far enough, you would be able, like this says, it needs to be level 20 or a 3-star or higher. Obviously, I'm not a 3-star. I'm only 2-star. But you can... Upgrade the level, meaning make it in the red and stuff like that. That increases its value. Okay? So they're 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 connected. But we'll talk about all of the different artifacts and stuff and some of the keys about those. But let's just strictly stick with the stars for now. The Star Palace has pretty much all the constellations in it. And each one of these is going to carry a different kind of stat. Depending on your troop setup, meaning if you're mage and cavalry or your infantry and archer or whatever your setup is, maybe you use nothing but angels. However you decide to do your setup, you need to know that these right here are going to be great for your buffs. But how do we get them, right? As you can see, and this is somewhat of a new account, I have not unlocked every single one of them. So if I wanted to unlock Virgo, right, I need 10 of them. I only have two. If I click the plus, it's going to tell you I can either get it from the Star Ruins shop exchange or pretty much I can buy packs. So this one right here is this building over here. Every single day, you can click on this. You can either go to the very, very shallow or you can work your way up killing these, getting into the deeper loads. But let's just say I go in here, I click Occupy, I'm going to use my setup, and then it's going to start mining, right? Now, the Ruin Shop, once I get enough of these, I can exchange them for things, like the Burstone Chest, right? It's going to be 40, I can get 10 every pretty much 7 days. And that helps to unlock the different star levels. So let's go ahead and let's just do that. Or as many as I can. Look, I can't get the, the last one. But now if I go into my pack and I look underneath let's get it right here. The birthstone chest. I got nine of them. Let's open up all nine. It's going to randomly give me these birthstones. And once you have all these burst stones, you get up to 10, right? You can unlock one. So let's just do this one, for example, Scorpio, right? I only have eight of these, but I do have these up here. And so let's, all right, looks like the M symbol. Not good with all the symbols of them. But up here I have a burst stone crystal, so I'm going to get two. Or wait a minute, let's exit out of that. We're going to do two, and then we'll look for the M, the Scorpio. That makes 10, okay? So because it's 10, I can go here now, which this wasn't activated, but I can activate it. And now, it's going to unlock that. Now that's not to say <laughs> you're going to have quite a few more whenever you uh, go to upgrade it. But, um, yeah. So this right now, I unlocked. As you can see, the levels... If I click Upgrade, I have Star Source. 
right? And I can like fast upgrade. It'll automatically choose the ones I got. Confirm, it brings it up a level. So you can see this zero to 3000 right here and it brings up the level. When it does, it gives me, look, Angel XP, HP 1%. So it brings up the values. Now, once you get to a certain level, like three or whatever, then you're going to have to evolve it. And when you evolve it, once again, you need the burst stones. So this is a very, I've noticed, slower process. Not exactly easy. Um, but it does give you a lot of value. But you need to know which one you need to invest in. Because you don't want to invest in something that has nothing to do with you whatsoever. You definitely want to pick the levels like this that are going to help you out the most, right? You don't want to pick something that's going to be redundantly dumb for you. But go ahead and unlock all of them, but try to utilize uh, your burst stones and stuff like that for, you know, the ones that you want to upgrade. And it's a long process. It is not something simple. So, like, let's go here. So, as you can see... I can upgrade to the next because I got enough stars because I unlocked some. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is why I was saying that the Star Palace also interconnects with the artifacts. Because watch, now that I upgrade it to level 2, right, it's going to give me an additional 2%. So right here, level 2, increase deployed artifact stat affects 2%. So it's multiplying it on whatever I have already. So, yes, your Star Palace has not only buffs, but it also has a lot to do with your artifacts. And this right here, this whole building, when you think about it, this this whole altar is super important when you're talking about major buffs to make your troops stronger. It is very, very important because not just your Terra troops, you need this to make things extremely stronger. So... We'll dive more into specific key things inside of this. I just wanted to do a brief overview of this. Um, until next time, guys. Peace.